Oh, 67. Uh, this is not a dynamic duo. This is the Fab Five. This is Duran Duran, New Moon on Monday. Russ, how much do you love Duran Duran? I'm going to say this. You can soundbite <laughs> it if you want to. You can extract this clip for socials. Duran Duran is life. That's it. I, I will never make an excuse for loving Duran Duran. Never. I mean, I loved those records. And it went past, you know, Rio and, and, and Hungry Like the Wolf. I think that was starting. You know, that was just scratching the surface because I just think those songs got better um, as time went on. And, you know, they get so closely linked to the 80s in, in sort of a negative way as being, you know, one of those big MTV bands and everything. But there were so many good songs in that band's catalog. So I am, I am all about Duran Duran and this in new moon on Monday is kind of Simon doing like his best Bowie, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Out of doubt. Um, did you watch the video though? Yes. Okay. I mean, you're what's never going to say anything going on great about the, yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, wild boys, you know, all these like this, we're not going to talk so great about the video. To me, it's just about the songs. Yeah. It's always about the songs. I mean, the video, it's almost like you're more focused on them, them, you know, and their looks and their hair and every, their clothing than, than what is actually going on in the video, you know, or they're on a boat, you know, I, I the, the story, I mean, I can't I really tell you the story about a lot of, you know, from a lot of the video, I mean, Rio, I, I can't even tell you the story. I just know they're on a boat. Um, secret agents in this, or they're, they're solving some sort yeah. of, uh, you know, they're Viva La Resistance or something, something's happening there. And then they're all dancing in the end and, you know, just the. Uh, which I read, they they can't even watch the end of that yeah. video where it's just them dancing to their song and uh, yeah. trying to trying to uh, pretend like they're having fun. It's incredible to me to think of the the budget or oh, yeah. you know just that these videos were like oh we're gonna make these little movies and stuff. And it's like guys, you're wasting so much time. I know, um, but it mattered then. It did, you know, because if that video got on MTV and you know, it was an exclusive rotation, maybe, you know, that's, that's a big deal. It was, because obviously, yeah, uh, young Russ Boris was watching MTV and every, every video on there made an impression on him. It is and what we expected, worked. though. We expected this from Duran Duran and anything less would have disappointed us. I that's mean, the, 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 the extravagance, and of course, at the time, we didn't know how much these things cost, but this was not bedroom pop. This was, yeah. Uh, yeah. This, this Nick Taylor, I say, sorry, Andy Taylor and Nick Rhodes, um, they declared this as their least favorite Duran Duran video. <laughs> That's saying something. Yeah. <laughs> but Do you have a favorite for us? Who was your favorite Duran Or you uh, were a Durani who, as a Duran who was your favorite? I think it just, Simon was cool. So I, I think it, that's, that's where you kind of focused, um, you know, to me, uh, you know, one of the, the best moments was, again, to, to, to take it off where, um, where we are centered here. Uh, a few years ago, Duran Duran played South by and NPR had done their usual showcase and they were kind of the, the band that was playing after. So it wasn't quite in the NPR live stream, but they were like the headliner at Stubbs uh, at, at South by. And so we made sure like we, it was so crowded in there. So it was basically like, if you're leaving, you're going to have a really hard time getting out. So we were just planted for like four or five hours up on the dirt hill. And when they hit the stage, you're like, oh, where are they going to start? Where was the first song for Duran Duran? They went with a view to a kill. And I was like, this is so badass. <laughs> that was a gutsy choice to come out of the gate for this crowd. Like, I don't know how many people knew them or whatever, or just how many were just nostalgia or then, you know, sort of the younger end of the crowd. But I was like, it's kind of cool. I was into it. 